Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Paul, I appreciated Joe so much in this film because someone needed to be the adult in all of this. It was so easy to get swept up with Reuben and Lou and their little love story. And, mm. But it was really an unhealthy sort of codependent relationship. And Joe recognizes that early on with his own experiences. Mm -hmm. What was it like playing a character like that and being that way? No, you're right. Thank you so much for that. Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm a Vietnam veteran and uh, I've had addiction struggles my whole life. I've been in programs. I've interpreted for deaf people in programs. Um, I've worked in courtrooms uh, with horrible scenes of uh, addiction that have ruined families. So all that lives in me. And so when I get to do this role, I kind of had to tap into all that life experience I've had. Uh, and all everything that I've witnessed, my, my parents' struggles of being deaf in Chicago in the 50s and how they would always talk about the hearing man. Uh, the hearing man, he's got his hand in my pocket. The hearing man's scamming me again. That whole thing and how life is different today for deaf people. They have technology. They have, they're proud to be deaf. I'll be damned if I ever heard my father tell me once that he was proud to be a deaf man. Never. He was always being put upon, like, like somebody said, his, you know, like they had him down. So, um, and it was always that hearing guy. So it's refreshing and wonderful to see this, uh, this uh, attitude that deaf people have about themselves now. Uh, they, and I was just telling somebody else um, when Darius was making the movie, I told them, don't forget, deaf people have this saying, nothing about us without us. In other words, get somebody behind the camera that can advise you as to how we should be portrayed. Ooh. We're tired of people hearing people, hearing actors and hearing actresses taking over a role that is deaf. All the way back from Jane Wyman in 1948 when she won the Academy Award for Johnny Belinda. That's, and there are, there are plenty of capable and really talented deaf actors out there. Uh, yeah, here, here I'm a hearing actor trying to get a role. Can you imagine what it is to, to be a, a deaf actor? Or to be a black deaf actor? Or to be a, you know, and I know tons of them out here. They just need an opportunity and it's, they have to fight. They have to fight 10 times as hard as we do. I love how passionate you are about this. So that takes me in a whole nother direction. When it's something about, when it's art mirroring life so closely, particularly for you, does it make stepping into the role more challenging, easier? What is that transition from leaving real life to cinema life for someone like you? Uh, I don't know because, you know, this movie is so real and gritty that I knew what was going on at the time. When I read the script, I knew it would be gritty. But being on the set with Darius, and Darius, the director, being uh, just so nurturing and calm, and he let me be, he let me be who I am. And uh, I found a certain sort of cathartic pleasure, if you will, showing what I know about addiction, showing what I know about deaf people uh, and being able to portray that while he's silently filming all this stuff, it was kind of effortless mm -hmm. uh, and cathartic in a way. I just knew that people would, would see it, would feel it. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, Paul. I, I love this film. I, I mean, like award season loved it. This is a oh. terrific film and I enjoyed your performance. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jandra. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.